Hello there, welcome to you today in history. It's the 27th of October and my name is Sotonie Afiasima. If you're here for the first time, welcome to my channel. Hopefully you will be educated and entertained. If you're a returning subscriber or returning visitor, welcome to my blog. Why not consider subscribing as well so that you receive updates of my video uploads. Okay, let's get cracking. So we shall roll back the blind in our usual tradition to the year 939. Now, if you don't recognize this guy, his name is Athelstan. He is widely regarded as the first king of England. So this was the day that he died. He was the king of the Anglo-Saxons from 924 to 927 and king of the English from 927 to 939 when he died. He was the son of Edward the Elder and his first wife, Egwin. Egwin is spelled E-C-G-W-Y-N-N. Sounds like a Welsh name. Modern historians regard him as the first king of England and one of the greatest Anglo-Saxon kings. He never married and had no children. He was succeeded by his half-brother, Edmund. So, this is Athelstan, first king to rule over all of England, who died on this day in 939. I did a video of him a few weeks ago, so go check it out. Um, let's move on to the next event on this day. 98 years ago, on this day, this beautiful lady, popularly known as Ruby D, full name Ruby Ann Wallace, was born on this day in 1922. She was an American actress, poet, playwright, screenwriter, journalist, and civil rights activist. She is perhaps best known for originating the role of Ruth Younger in the stage and film versions of A Raising in the Sun in 1961. Her other notable film roles include The Jackie Robinson Story, 1950, and Do the Right Thing, 1989. Dee was married to Ossie Davis, with whom she frequently performed until his death in 2005. Her performance as Mahali Lucas in American Gangster 2007, Dee was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress and won the Screen Actors Guild Award for Female Actor in a Supporting Role. Dee was a Grammy, Emmy, Obie and Drama Desk winner. She was also a National Medal of Arts Kennedy Center Honors and Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award recipient. So, this is beautiful lady, Ruby D, born October 27th, 1922, died June 11th, 2014, popularly known as Ruby D, full name Ruby Ann Wallace. Let's move on to the year 1961. So, on this day, 1961, Saturn won. The first Saturn rocket was successfully launched. It's, and years later, the Saturn V was a launch vehicle used in the Apollo moon landing flight. So Saturn I, the first Saturn rocket launched today successfully. The year again was 1961. 1968, seven years later, this physicist, Lee's Meitner, whose research, along with that of Otto Hahn and Fritz Strassmann, led to the discovery of nuclear fusion, died in Cambridge on this day, Cambridge in England. So, Lies Meitner was Austrian-Swedish, a physicist who contributed to the discoveries of the element protactinium, and nuclear fusion. While working at the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute of on radioactivity, she discovered the radio, radioactive isotope 
Protactinium 231 in 1917. In 1938, Meitner and new physicist Otto Robert Frisch discovered nuclear fusion. She was praised by Albert Einstein as the German Marie Curie. So again, that is Lise Meitner who died on this day in 1968. She was a physicist, a Swedish Austrian physicist. And I'm going to read what is right here in front of me, for those who can't see this. Science makes people rich selflessly for truth and objectivity. It teaches people to accept reality with wonder and admiration. So this is a quote from and by Lise Meitner. I fully agree. That's why the quote is up there. Fully agree with her. You know, we're we at an age when we have... Uh, People like the Flat Earth um, Movement, I think it's called. Um, and <laughs> you just wonder that in the 21st century, you have a group of people, and they're growing by the day. The popularity of these people is growing by the day. It's absolutely astounding that in the 21st century, there are people who think like this. You know, there's an empirical evidence that the Earth is a sphere. It's floating in space. You know, and you get people who are retrogressive, people who have taken us back how many centuries, probably five or six or seven centuries, when most people thought that the earth was flat. You know, so it's it's shocking, it's amazing, you know, that people would still um, have that sort of um, closed mindedness. You know, in, in some other ways it isn't because human beings are very fickle. Human beings can shock you sometimes. You know, um, you think that um, people are okay and suddenly they flip. There's a switch somewhere in the brain that flips, and then they start reasoning. And they don't reason anymore. It's not even, I shouldn't even be using the word reasoning. Anyway, I don't want to go off tangent. Um, let's back, get back on track. I think I did go off tangent a bit, but it was important that I said uh, what I've just said. Um, yeah. Let's see if there's anything else on um, this lady. Yeah, that's a stamp dedicated to Liz Meitner, who lived for 90 years, died on this day, 1968. Okay, next is, we fly now from uh, Europe to the Caribbean. And we had these islands, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It's an island country lying within the Lesser Antilles and the Eastern Caribbean Sea achieved independence on this day. Now, this is probably going to be a record on this channel. You're going to see pictures, loads and loads of pictures of this beautiful country and its peoples. So, get ready. So, so happy Independence Day, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I really love this artwork here, the flag. Okay, so again, the reminder is that this is the day they had their independence. So more pictures come in, Happy Independence Day. So this is obviously commemorating their independence uh, much past and the forces, different forces of the country at against the stadium in the islands. And this must have been the day that the country, the island country of Vincent, Vincent and the Grenadines gained their independence. So you can see the colonial um, people, very likely the British, handing over power to the local inhabitants on this day. Okay, picture of downtown. And this was to commemorate their <laughs> pre-independence dance Absolutely beautiful. Some more pictures. Now this is quite intriguing. Go check it out. You know, the, these cultural pieces are under the sea. Uh, St. Grenadines, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I haven't done any research on this, so I'm going to do that after this video. But go check it out. Find out where these um, sculptures are located under the sea. Right. 
So that's St. Vincent and the Grenadines gained independence on this day, and that's where they're located on the world map. So you have, um, you get an idea of where they are located for those of you who may not know. So that's where they're located. Um, sandwiched between North and South America on the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. All right, let's move on finally to, last but not least, on this day, another independence movement. They haven't quite gained independence yet, but Catalonia, northeastern Spain. So this was the day that Catalonia's parliament voted to declare the region independent from Spain, resulting in the central government's dismissing that that legislative body and calling for new elections in which the majority of seats were claimed by the pro-independence movement. Now, let us see flags of Catalonia and thousands and thousands of people in uh, probably what's their main square, their main street, jubilant faces. So very likely they're gonna gain independence in a not too distant future. So that's it for today, for today's Today in History. Um, that was a bit tongue twister, wasn't it? I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Um, do not forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Share this with your family and friends as well. Um, consider subscribing so that you receive updates of my video uploads. I shall see you tomorrow. Again, my name is Sotonie. Yes, Simama. Thanks for dropping by. Stay safe. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.